This week I'm in Atlanta for a super exciting reason. I'm visiting Hannah and we are painting this master suite. She snagged the most adorable house with a dreamy master suite loft. Now remember that accent wall color I helped her pick for her old bedroom? Escape Gray by Sherwin Williams? Well, it turns out it's the perfect fit for this new space. So buckle up because we're going to be painting that gorgeous color with Hannah, touring her stunning master bedroom makeover, and popping in to see her old room. And then we're going to the Geranium Festival to celebrate. To begin, we're starting on this wall. Um, this wall has dormers, and I'll be honest, up front, I had no idea that dormers take this long to paint. But we, um, we're going to begin by removing these curtains, or actually, Hannah is going to begin by removing everything while I begin painting over in the corner. when I work with air dry clay, I just get lost. I get lost in it. It's so therapeutic. I know some of you can't relate, but I just wanted to share. Let's take a break from painting and go see what Hannah's up to. Not only is she wiping off dust and stuff on the walls, but she is clearing out both dormers, and this one is her storage dormer. Okay, so we got one wall done. Look how pretty. That really looks so pretty with that neutral color over here. part of the outside and one dormer done and man this is like soaking up the paint we are probably down to a quarter of the paint left in a gallon and we still have that to do we still have this wall and then we still got to paint all of this man we're definitely gonna need more paint Okay, so it's day two, and we finished this wall, this whole side over here with the dormers. And those dormers took a lot longer than, <laughs> I've never painted a dormer, so I had no idea it was gonna take that long. But today we're working on this wall. It's really tall, I'm not sure. We're gonna have to find a ladder where we can reach all the way up there. But um, we're gonna paint this wall. We've got an idea of a different design just because we're trying to make the space feel a little cozy. It's so open and big. Um, so we're talking about doing a chair rail like right up here, painting the lower green and the top a, a, a warm color, a real light warm color, and then doing a stamping technique. We'll see what happens. You know how things go as you start working on projects things evolve and so we may very well evolve into something different but i will definitely keep you posted through the process As you can see we are painting the top once we got everything painted in the room except for this wall and in lieu of time we felt like we just need to paint this the same color 
because we do want to do the kind of like a real high chair rail idea and do some stamping, but we decided that's going to have to be another visit to Atlanta. So hang out with us as we finish up this paint project and then I'm going to show you her old bedroom, what it looks like now, and we will do a before and after of this room. can't believe it we decided to go ahead and paint the top because that's going to be another trip project because we want to work on the um, book nook over here so we will definitely be working on that tomorrow but it is all done we're talking about painting these if we get permission from the people who own the rental if we can paint the doors but it looks so good now let's take a moment and head back to my house in Florida and I'll show you what escape gray looks like at my house. Okay, so we're, we're hopping in this video because I promised I would show you what the bedroom looks like now. That used to be Hannah's old room. Um, side note, it has not really been decorated, so it's just very minimal right now. But I wanted you to see the escape gray wall color in here because it um it looks a little different to me in this room than it does in her bedroom her bedroom up there in atlanta is so big and has a lot more natural light this room only has this window so this is what it looks like in a smaller darker room i think it looks great but now let's head back to Hannah's and look at a before and after. Now that the bedroom's finished, we decided to reward ourselves by going to the Geranium Festival in McDonough, Georgia. Um, this is downtown in the Old Square. It's a beautiful place for an event like this. There were lots of booths um, and a lot of beautiful creations. So I wanna walk you around and show you a few of those. So I want to thank you so much for joining me here today on Life on Summer Hill. Um, please subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss out on future episodes. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And again, I hope you have a wonderful day and we'll see you soon. Bye.